Not too much of alcohol, no. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new Aaron Marchi Moore in cask strength here on my cask. It's the second edition. Price range about 60 and the ABV 58.2, quite a lot. That means, well, this will be a quite young whiskey where the ABV is still high. <clears throat> and the maturation hasn't reduced the ABV so much. The Marchi Moor is a, a moss, a moor, on the west coast of the Isle of Arran. And I took a video of my visit of Arran. And uh, this Marchi Moor um, gives the name to the peated whiskey of the distillery, but I'm afraid uh, the peat will not come from the Marching Moor because Aaron uh, buys in <coughs> the malt and gives a specification uh, how high the peat level of the malt they buy should be. And uh, here they say the peating level is 20 ppm. This is not too much. There are whiskies out there with a 40, 50, even to 100 ppm of peat level. So this is not too strong, which I prefer. And uh, this second edition was released in 2015 and there are 9,000 bottles worldwide, but <laughs> uh, don't be afraid. Uh, there will be further bottlings if the uh, supplies are low. Here you see a big dog and a cask of whiskey with a chain to a stone. And there is, of course, a tail to this label, as it is always with Aaron. Um, <clears throat> on the west coast of the Isle of Aaron lies a windswept and mystical peat bog called Machi Moor. Bronze eight stone circles and standing stones are strewn across its barren, indulating terrain. One of the stone circles is known as Fingal's Cauldron Seat, where sits a stone with a carved hole. The legendary warrior giant Fingal is said to have tethered his favorite dog Bran to this stone. This peated expression of the Aaron single malt perfectly captured the rock beauty and lore of the landscape. <laughs> unlash the legend that is marching well. Don't unlash the dog. <clears throat> This is it, and with a tin, there is a small leaflet, and uh, the leaflet shows uh, the standard bottlings of Aaron. I think some of them I had already here on my cask, uh, but let it repeat it here for short. It's the Aaron 10 years old, the 12 years old in cask strength, and whenever you have a cask strength, then you must have several editions, like this one, the second edition, because uh, Every mixture of casks will have a different ABV. And legislation says, or a regulation says, you have, uh, you aren't allowed to dilute to the next uh, constant number down. Uh, so uh, there will be 58.2, 58.9, whatever the mixture of casks they are filling uh, results in. So Aaron, 14 years, this is the standard bottling with the highest age of Aaron. And there is a 16, 17 and 18 year old uh, coming onto the market in 2015, 14 and 13, I think, or was 14, 13 and 12. And those bottles uh, were one-time bottles with 9,000 to 6,000 uh, bottles a batch. Then this is the good news. There's the Machi Moor in standard uh, strength, 46, I think, and the cast strength much more, which we have here. And this means that this bottle will be on the market regularly. Yeah, so it's not a one-time, uh, you can go into the store next year or the year after, and you will find it, not the second edition, but the third, fourth, fifth one. Then there are those uh, uh, finished, 
bottlings with the Amarone, Sauterne and port cask. Then there's the Robert Burns, of course. Uh, it's an entry, single malt, and the Lochranza, uh, which is also an entry malt. So this is the, in short, the range of Aaron. And now we have a closer look to the marching moor. Yeah, little smokiness. Not too much of alcohol, no. Mm -hmm. Of course, smoke, but 20 ppm, not too much. You're able to, to smell different aromas in the beginning. If you have a very stinky, smoky whiskey, then you try hard to have a different aroma uh, in the beginning. After a while, your nose will, be, will get used to the smoke and then you will taste different aromas. But this one, at first, pears. Pears and a little citrus note. And some exotic fruit. No idea what it is. A little vanilla showing through. And it is a, for a young whiskey. This is not very old, really. For a young whiskey, it's really complex, and this decent smoky note brings the complexity. Yeah. So here we go, just to bring it down to 50. <clears throat> that I do not burn my tongue. So it takes a while. <sighs> Lighter. A lot of young fruit, pears, apples, citrus, together with the smokiness, wonderful. And probably a little pineapple, yes. With vanilla on top, it's, it's a wonderful aroma, yes. Yeah, yeah, taste quite strong. The ABV is still in the 50s. And there is some, well, the smokiness covers your mouth and your tongue. Berries, sweet, sweet berries. Together with the, well, the starting spiciness. Probably a maritime note. And vanilla. This is really a good one, yeah. Fruitiness, smokiness, starting spiciness, yeah. So, watch out for this bottle, recommended, and uh, you don't do not have to rush because there will always be <laughs> a next release. This is the second release, uh, starting in 2015, I think, and. There's more to come. As it is here with my videos, there's more to come. Stay tuned and if you have questions, please ask them on whiskey.com in our vlog or in our forum.